In these problems, we are finding side lengths or angle measures in isosceles and equilateral triangles. And remember, an equilateral triangle, that's the triangle that has all three sides the same length. And an isosceles triangle has two sides the same length. In these problems here, we're trying to find um, some angles. So here we have uh, a triangle, and it's got a single hash mark in each side. That means all three sides are the same length. So this is an equilateral triangle. In an equilateral triangle, the degrees are all the same in all the vertices, and they're always 60. So M is going to be 60, so is N, and so is P. So our answer here is that angle M is 60 degrees. Now, if uh, you had to find a side length in an equilateral triangle, if, let's say they told you that one side was 3, well, both the other sides would be 3 because all three sides are the same. All right, here we have a triangle where this side is 7 and this side is 7. That means it's an isosceles triangle. So um, if you had a problem where maybe only one side length was given, but they had the hash marks going on here to show that they're the same length, you could know maybe this, it wouldn't have told you if this side is 7, then this side is going to be 7. You won't know what the other side is. In an uh, isosceles triangle, they call these two sides that are the same, they call them the legs and the other side they call the base. Uh, the way the angle measures work in an isosceles triangle is you have this uh, measure here that's opposite the base, and then these two angles here that are opposite the legs are always equal to each other. So to calculate uh, angle Q or angle S, what we do is we would take this and subtract it from 180. So 180 minus 40 means that we have 140 left over to split between these two angles. So you just cut that in half, and those two angles are each 70 degrees. So angle Q here is going to be 70 degrees. So that is a little bit of work with isosceles and equilateral triangles.